This is Tone Talk with Trace Davis of Voodoo Amps, and we're here with Richard Fortas. Hello. So Richard, you're on tour right now with Guns N' Roses. I am. And you're also, at the same time, in another band, The Dead Daisies. Mm -hmm. How was that playing in two different bands like that, going from one to the other? Uh, Scheduling-wise, it's difficult. I would imagine so. <laughs> yeah, because they're both very busy. They're both run very differently. Yeah, I would um, imagine so. So uh, it's a little challenging, but um, playing-wise, it's... I mean, it's all music. It's all music, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's got a nice blues rock center. Yeah, and they're sort of similar in that way, but they're very different as far as my role in both. So you'll be also going out with the Dead Daisies very shortly from now mm -hmm. and touring the U.S. with a few different bands. Yep, we'll so, be out in July with Bad Company and Lyndon Skinner, which is sort of, that's like the perfect bill for that band because... Dead Daisies has got some cool classic yeah, rock thing to we're it. We're very much like... <laughs> I hear both of those bands and, yep. and, and stuff, so that's going to be really great. And Mick Ralphs and Paul Rogers, I'm really excited about. I'm really, I'm really excited when the forward to the record come out. And uh, myself, just because I'm, I think what you guys are doing is so cool, and, and it's, it's not that it's like you know an entirely new genre, but it's sort of like a, a almost a high octane classic rock. Yeah, there definitely seems to be a hole in the market. It's um. And which I think is why people are reacting so strongly to it. It's really, it's classic rock for, you know, it's for now. It's new music for <laughs> classic rock fans. Exactly, basically, exactly. Know? Which so, is cool. Uh, I dig yeah, that. I mean, it's what I grew up on. It's what you grew up on. Exactly. So it's, though most of my career, I think, was doing different, spent doing different things, but that's <laughs> that's my root. So it's, uh, it's fun. And I think after playing with Thin Lizzy, touring with those guys, it really made me realize how how fun that stuff is to play and how, how it really moves me. And it's, as a player, I mean, it's hard to beat that. That blues-based thing, you know what I mean, that, that runs through classic rock that we grew up on, you get to improvise yep. a bit too. And then, and, and, you know, the blues, of course, is, is very emotive. Yeah. So that's a personal thing yeah. when you're playing yeah. too. So you, you get a little more improvisation. Yeah. Which has yeah. got to be cool. <laughs> no, that's that's what music is all about for me. I mean, that, and yeah, that it, there's a lot of room in there to play, and plus there's a lot more room in that band. It's a lot more open mm -hmm. than uh, with G and R because we have you, you got know, structured you got, songs. Well, yeah, you, not only that. I mean, there's a lot of you got a lot moments. of material you guys do too. Yeah, and there's so and it's so classic and so people are so familiar with it yep it's played every you day you have to be faithful you know to uh to the originals and with the daisies it's it's all new so it's a different vibe <laughs> people don't know if it's uh if i'm playing just like the record <laughs> yeah or not. exactly yeah 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 so it's fun and you guys have you've had some great players in that band absolutely you know what i mean we, that's we pretty tour. phenomenal we've yeah it's been amazing i mean i get to play with some of my favorite guys. So, I mean, yeah. Marco Mendoza is yep. one of the greatest bass players in the world and an amazing singer. Um, Brian Tishy is doing this tour as well, and he's one of my favorite drummers. We were able to play with, uh, well, Charlie. Charlie Drayton's the guy that brought me into the band mm -hmm. originally, and he's top three musicians in the world uh, in he's my great. book, like as far as people to work with that you know, I know that I'm going to walk away a better player having played with Charlie every time That's I play. That's a cool gig. <laughs> and uh, and he did. We did a tour with him and Daryl Jones on bass from the Rolling Stones. Yep. Yeah. And uh, from Miles Davis. Yeah. Um, that speaks. That speaks volumes. <laughs> and so that was uh, that was just. It doesn't get any better than that. And Not Dizzy, really. Dizzy was playing keyboards, and you know Dizzy's a pretty solid member now. He's been there quite a bit, and he's become very integral to the sound and of the band. John, of course, singing. Yep. And, and he's got uh, a phenomenal voice for that he's stuff. He's amazing. And David Lowy, the uh, other guitar player. Mm -hmm. And it's been, uh, yeah, it's been a great experience. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's fun to be, it, it, have, be a part of a band that's just fighting their way up and, you know. Right. That, oh, it makes sense. Yeah, it's, you're trying to you're trying to get it to do yeah. break big. 
Yeah. And that's cool. Yeah. I mean, you guys are well on your way, I think, but. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's so really remarkable. Great. Everyone seems to be talking great things about yeah, it. Yeah, there's a good buzz on it. And we've toured with Aerosmith, we toured with uh, ZZ Top, we toured with. Uh, we did a tour with the Black Star Riders in Europe. We did, um, we, well, we will be doing, uh, after July, August, we'll be doing Kiss and Def Leppard. And uh, that'll be fun because the Def Leppard guys are old friends they're, of mine. They're a lot of fun. <laughs> and um, Joe's one of my favorite people. Um, then after that, we do. What's next? We do... Oh, um, Alice Cooper. Alice Kiss, Cooper. Right? No, Alice Cooper and... Uh, oh, Miley, oh, Miley Cruz last yeah, tour. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's right. That's a farewell tour. And, yeah, again. And, uh, and then we do... Who's after? Uh, and then The Who. Oh, that'll be cool. That'll be fun, right? That'll be a lot of cool, especially with the kind of music you do with The Who. Yeah. That'll be, and that'll there's, be a very and great bill. A couple of, I have a couple of good friends in that band as well. So. Oh, great. Yeah. Now, the, the difference for guitars... Is quite a bit different, right, from what you're doing with Guns N' Roses. Yeah, I'm um, mainly sticking with single coils. I think for this next run, I'm going to use those uh, Scala Les Pauls. Those are awesome. If anyone hasn't heard them, wow, very yeah, cool. They're, they're phenomenal <laughs> guitars. Absolutely phenomenal Les Paul type they sound great. guitars, and they're they're the best sounding Les Pauls I've ever used, including real ones. Um, I have to agree, having heard it. <laughs> Uh, I'll probably use that burst as well as my Trussart Strat, which has been the Daisy's guitar. Yep. It's an amazing guitar. It's um, it's an ash body. He has the. Uh, I had him reverse the bridge pickup. Mm -hmm. and I do this on my tellies too, where I'll reverse it and put a left-handed oh, bridge okay. on it yeah. so that the angle is backwards. Mm -hmm. um, that way, you get more attack on the low end. You know more shiny mm -hmm. bright stuff on low which is what you want and the high end has a little bit warmer of a sound because nice. the angles backwards um and then i hadn't put a left-handed neck on it so traverse headstock yep so it's more tension on the mm -hmm. low strings yep more piano like there's a reason why hendrix sounded so good <laughs> it did <laughs> you know besides so. the, besides the genius factor there was a, <laughs> that helps it's probably just dumb luck I mean he was left handed and uh, I'm left handed so I, I get it yeah but it makes so much sense it's limiting it makes so yep. much sense to have more tension and because you can mm -hmm. bend strings easier on the top yes you can and your tension's stronger on the low end which is what you want it's ideal yeah, yeah. So you can play a little harder if you want to, and it doesn't warble out of tune. Yeah, stays together better. Yeah, that's right. Now there is a full-length Daisy's album that's out and available. I didn't have anything to do with that one. Right. Um, and neither did Dizzy, and neither neither did Mark. Right. So the new Charlie. one coming. The new one is really the band, you know, and, that's and what it's I'm looking really to. great. I mean, you've heard the four songs. I've heard some stuff, and they're great. And that's going to be an EP that'll be out next month, and then there'll oh, be cool. another four songs that'll be released, which I'm really excited about uh, after that. I'm probably just excited because they're new, but... Uh, hey, it's, yeah. it's good to have some passion for it. We'll finish those up um, the end of July, after we finish the uh, Skinner Bad Company tour, and before we start the... Uh, Kiss Def Leppard thing during that week. I mean, th this band is great because we, we actually write and record while we're touring, which is like so stone. Kind of it's unheard so, of almost these days. Yeah, it but doesn't it's happen so, like it's it used so to. great. Hey, I keep on getting you to love.